All right, guys, we're going to tie this uh, little real mayfly that we showed on our blog. Uh, anyway, we'll just get started. We're using a little bit different hook. It's also a light wire hook. So this is the Gamakatsu R10B. I think this is a size 16. Um, but it's a little bit shorter shank hook, so we can get away with tying a size 18 fly on it. We're going to attach thread and just wind back to about the bend. First thing we're going to do is attach the micro five bits. However you say that. Again, I'm taking four of them off. I want the tails to be a little bit longer than the body, so I'm going to measure here. I just pinch those on. Tie them. Keep them on top of the shank. Wrap forward a little bit and then trim them off. We're going to go back and uh, do a figure eight around these so that they stay in a nice split tail configuration. Which of course fish will care about a lot. Anyway, so I've split them with my thumbnail. Now I'm just going to come up underneath with one wrap, give two wraps around the shank and then come back over the top. Next step is I'm going to take a turkey biot. I'm going to pull off one of the little sections and I'm going to wrap it in a little notch here. You can see right by the eye of the hook that's got to be down. If you wrap it notch down that means that the ribs will be up and showing as you saw in this fly. Um, tie it in a little bit forward so that I can not have build up on the back of the hook. And then, like mo all real men, we do not use hackle pliers when we wrap biots. So I'm just going to use the rotary function on the vise. If you don't have a rotary vise, just figure out a way that works. Okay, tie that off. Trim that off. Here's the medallion sheeting. If you're not familiar with this material, it's, it's really good for these realistic style patterns. I've just cut a piece that's approximately the width of the, the gap of the hook. And so what I'm going to do to, to tie this in is I'm going to basically twist it. So essentially I'm just going to figure eight that over the top of the hook. Two wraps. I'm going to pull it perpendicular to the hook and then two wraps the other way. And notice the position of the wing. It's not too far forward of the, the eye of the hook. On a mayfly, the wings are, aren't so far forward as you see in maybe some flies. They're more toward uh, kind of the set, center of the body, a little bit forward of the center of the body. So anyway, that's all I'm going to do with, with the wings for now. I'm just going to pull them straight up. It's easier to, to work with this fly if you tie these wings in a little bit longer. Um, so anyway, I'm going to take the dubbing now. I've got uh, Nature Spirit. I think this, this color is called Betis, but any olive color that will match the biot of the, of the fly will work. I'm just going to dub some of that on, put a little bit of it um, behind the wings. Just build up a little ball and then a little bit in front. Now, we don't want the wings to come straight up out of the fly like this. I'm actually going to to take my thread and I'm going to wrap over the, the tips of those where I tied them in so it kind of sh pushes them back at an angle. Um, so this is the point where I'll tie in some Antron fibers for the legs. Alright, so I've got some Antron that I've cut off of a hank. I'm not going to use all of this. So I'm just going to separate, you know, seven or eight fibers. So I'm going to lay the antron on the far side of the hook and just tie that in and real easy way to get it get the legs on the other side of the hook is just to bring the the same fiber over and tie it in on the other side of the body so got a little bit of thread build up there all I'm going to do now is just cover the rest up with some dubbing and we'll be good to go all right I've just got a little bit of dubbing. I'm going to build up a little bit of 
a head again I like to have a little bit of a pronounced thorax and head on this so that um, it will retain floatant I mean this this fly is not a super high floater so I'm just gonna whip finish real quick and now we uh, get to trim up the fly to trim the Antron, I usually pull it along the, the body of the fly and trim it a little bit shorter than the body. And then for the wings, uh, mayfly wings are pretty long. So first thing, the first cut, I grab them both at the same time. I'm just going to come in with my scissors and cut them both at the same time, just straight across. So that's about the length that I want to work with. Um, and as you can see in the in the pictures that we posted, I, I don't really like to spend a ton of time trimming up the wing and making it look all mayfly-like. All I like to do is just get rid of these corners. So here's our finished fly. Um, you can, here's the side view, top view. Um, again, this is a, a really kind of delicate presentation fly, not necessarily something that's going to excel when you're fishing riffles, but if you have a lot of flat water where there's not a lot of current, real picky fish, this has been a really good fly for me. Um, I tie it in basically any color you can tie a mayfly. Um, with a bigger fly such as Drake's, you can maybe add some more flotation qualities to it to make the, the hook float. Um, but on these uh, smaller mayflies, you can get away with a pattern just like this.